are the people who are most likely to succeed. What's the secret of their success? Let's see if Nick Baxter can help us find the answer. Say, Nick, what are you doing? Nothing. Aren't you going to finish your table? Uh, not right now. You mean to say you're going to stay after school to loaf again? Uh-huh. Well, what are you doing? Oh, reading that article I wrote for the paper. Pretty good, huh? Why don't I ever get chosen for something like this? Most likely to succeed. Huh. What have these kids got that I haven't got anyway? So that's it. Did you read the rest of the article? You know, I interviewed these kids and... Well, it was really interesting what they had to tell me. How do I get high grades? I work for them. I'm not going to school just to put in time. I want to be somebody. How do I find time for so many activities? I plan for them. I like to make the most of my spare time. Why do I have so many friends? Well, I like people. I want them to like me. I want to learn how to get along with them better. That'll always be important to me. Now, does that help answer your question? I still don't exactly see why they were picked. Well, it seems to me they're all saying pretty much the same thing. To succeed in something, you have to have a purpose and make plans for reaching it and work at it all the time. Sounds crazy to me. Well, what are you doing after graduation? Uh... I'll think about that later. Are you planning what you'll be doing next semester? Good night, no. Why should I? Well, what about next month or next week? I don't know. What's the idea? Well, what are you doing this afternoon? Nothing. There's nothing to do. If I go home, there'll be homework or work to do around the house or something. I'm tired of it. Brother, you do need a purpose and a plan. You should be working on your future right now. Well, have you ever figured out what you'd be like in a few years? Why don't you look ahead? Ah, uh, don't preach at me. Purpose. Plans. Looking ahead. As if you could tell what you'll be like in a few years. Or can you? What about Ed? He'll probably wind up as a scientist. That's what he's aiming for. And he studies hard. Maybe you can figure that Jean will be pretty active in clubs and things, because she's pretty active now. And, well, Terry would sure do all right in politics with that knack he has of making friends. Well, I suppose you can figure out where some people are headed for. Say, Don. Yeah? Suppose you could look ahead like you said. You suppose you could figure what I'm going to be like in a few years? That's not hard. Judging by the way you're going, I'd vote you uh, least likely to succeed. A guy without any purpose or any plan. You're liable to end up just being a drifter. Maybe even a bum. A bum? Me. There's nothing to all that about 
purposes and plans and looking ahead. That's book stuff. Just trying to put the old scare in me. Ah, forget about it. Oh, what's the matter? Can't I even build a simple table? I have to figure out how I want it to look and make a plan for building it. Let's see. There. That's the way I want it to look. Now I have to figure out just how to make it. Length, width, height. Now I've done something the way it ought to be done. It started to shape up as soon as I made these sketches. When I saw how I wanted it to look and made plans for building it. Plans. Sketches. Measurements. Wait a minute. That's what Don was talking about. That's what I have to do with my own future. I've got to look ahead. And imagine, not what it will be like if I just keep drifting, but what I want it to be like. Hello? Oh, hello, Dad. Fine, thanks. How are you and Mother? Great. Say, Dad, you'll want to know. I've been elected chairman of the community club. That's right. Will you and Mother be my guests at the club dinner? Good. Mary and I will expect you. Yes, I want a future that's something like that. I want to be happy. Be somebody. Have a good job. Friends. A home. A wife and kids. But how do I get there? If that's my purpose, how do I reach it? How? Detailed plans of how to achieve my purpose. And I'd better be getting at it right now. I can write them down. Add to them as I go along. Change them even. But the important thing is having plans. Plans to work with. Yes, Nick is learning the importance of looking ahead. He's making some decisions about the kind of future he wants and some plans to reach it. Nick wants a happy home life in the future. So he is finding out how his own family works right now and why it gets along so well. Nick wants a successful vocational life. So he's getting some idea of the kind of work he wants to do and he's studying harder to bring his grades up. And Nick wants a rich social life in the future, so he is learning how to get along with people better, because now is the time to start working on the plans you have made to achieve happiness. Having a purpose or goal to plan for has given new meaning to everything that Nick does. Hi, Nick, what you doing? Oh, hi, Don. Hey, that sure looks great. Thanks. It's fun to do things that come out right. How about playing some ball this afternoon? Boy, I'd like to, but I have a date with a guidance counselor. Want to talk over some different kinds of work in engineering. Then there's the math club meeting. After that, Bill and Ed and I are having a bull session on chemistry. Then I have okay, a date... Okay, okay. Boy, you sure have been going places lately. It's easy, my boy. You've just got to do a little looking ahead. 